Hello everyone! Hello! So today we will finish, or I should probably say almost finish, the master bedroom in our Victorian terraced house here in England. Yep. So let's get started. <laughs> yes, let's go upstairs and give it a go. One duvet. Okay, that's the duvet. And this is the, the cover for it. Very grandma style. I love it. Um, What's the front? Okay. It's got buttons. Now, give it to me. Yeah. Hmm. We forgot something. Oh, what? The kiss? <laughs> that too. The flat sheet. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we forgot the flat sheet. And because, you know, we don't... Okay. It's not the German way, but because we live in the UK and because we love it, when we stay somewhere, we just want to give it a try. Come on. Where's the flap sheet? Outside? Yes. Come on. So. Wow, that looks posh. <laughs> I don't know. And of course, pillows. Still need to move this one. Okay, two pillows on each side. well. Looks very inviting already, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, I'm getting tired. <laughs> You're getting all sleepy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, come on. Okay, like this. Like this. This looks nice, don't you think? Yep. This looks nice, mm -hmm. but needs more. It needs two more pillows, which I'm getting now. And two wonderful decorative pillows, very cozy and comfortable. And you'll see later that they look wonderful with our curtains. And of course, two beautiful lights for our bedside tables to finish it off.
And look what I just found. An old frame. Yes, that's one of our very old frames. Yes, yeah, I think we should use it. Yes, that's a good idea. A nice picture, maybe. The two of us. Mm. And then it would make the room a bit more personal. Yeah, let's give it a try. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, can you have a look here? What do you think about this one? Mm. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. That's good. That's great, isn't it? Yes, that's okay. good. Okay, let's, let's go for that one. And now we will get the picture printed for our frame. Let's go. What do you think? Easy. Yes. Let's go home. Okay, we came back with the with the picture and put it in the frame and it will sit on your expert side table. Wonderful. And this is from our Jane Austen week in Hampshire. Mr. Darcy and Elizabeth Bennet adoring him. <laughs> I love it. It's such a great memory. This is our master bedroom. It's not entirely finished, but we really love it and we hope you like it as well. And I thought, like towards the end of this video, I just talk you through some of the things we got because I know that when Jörg and I are looking for, I don't know, something we really want to have or just need some inspiration, I just love watching those videos and Jörg asked me to do it by myself because he said, I don't really have a clue. Although, of course, this room is, well, we both worked on it. Now, the great thing about this house is when we bought it, we didn't really have to do a lot of work. We had a wonderful frame and just some years before we bought it, everything was refurbished, rewired and things like that. So that's really good. We didn't have to spend any money on that. And what we really love about this room is that it has beautiful wooden floors. And of course we kept those because they are old and just add a lot of character. So this room of course had sockets and switches, but they were plastic ones in, in white and they didn't look nice at all. So you can see this is a toggle switch and we exchanged all the other sockets as well. And it adds so much character and just looks so nice in this Victorian house. This is our iron bed and one of the very first things we got for this house before we even moved here. We ordered it before we moved here because we always wanted one. And now that we live in the UK, we made our dream come true. So we have an iron bed here in our master bedroom. We have one in our guest bedroom as well. And it's wonderful. Now the wallpaper is from Colfax and Fowler. It's called Darcy. And also something we had before we moved into the house. This room didn't have 
any any built-in closets, nothing whatsoever. And yeah, we have this wonderful built-in closet um, made by a very talented and young joiner, and we absolutely love it because we just we just needed storage and yeah. I think it's perfect. This is our gorgeous chest of drawers, an antique piece and yeah it's walnut and it's really really beautiful. And this gorgeous box which is from Antoinette Poisson, a French brand in Paris. I got this as a Christmas present last year and in it I keep all the fabric samples that we got for this room because finding the right fabric for curtains wasn't easy to be honest and we have so many fabric samples here gorgeous fabrics and we just keep them we also have some antique paintings in this room that we absolutely adore so this one here's another one and i will link the, the source down below in the info box in case you're looking for something as well and these two Georgian ones that we got from an antique dealer and we really love the, the frames. The gorgeous wall lights are from Jim Lawrence and we have so many lights from Jim Lawrence. As you can see we have two more above the bed. This light fixture is about 20 years old and we've already had it in our house in Germany and thought it would look great here, which it does. And we only added the ceiling rows. Some months ago, we went to Lawford's Antiques in the Cotswolds. In case you haven't watched the video, <laughs> I will link it for you. And we found this gorgeous antique sunburst mirror and thought it would look just incredible for this space. And only about two weeks ago, we finally received our antique bedside tables. It took a while to find them because we needed a certain size for this room. They aren't identical. Mine, as you can see, has three drawers, Jörg's just one. Both have beautiful marble tops and look absolutely divine. For the bedside tables, we actually bought rechargeable lights because we don't have too many sockets here. So that was the best solution. And they are from Pookie. And the absolutely gorgeous lampshades were made by Rosie the Rook. I will, I will link a video for you down below in the info box because I do enjoy watching videos from House and Garden and there's a video about her and yeah I think they look wonderful. I found this gorgeous decoupage tissue box on Etsy because I don't know about you but I always need tissues right next to my bed. One of the most annoying things about creating this room was waiting for the curtains. We got them from a brand called Jane Clayton and we chose them because they have such a huge range of fabrics and wallpaper and yeah we had to wait for about three months so the lead time is absolutely insane but we love the results so we had the the, the blind we've we've had that for a long time now and that's a Sanderson fabric and the curtains are Sanderson fabric as well. I think it's called Chiswick and it's absolutely wonderful. We love the, the colour and the little birds in them and the trimming is something we absolutely adore. I must admit I've always wanted curtains with, with a trimming and this is the first time and we really like it. The trimming is from Samuel and Sons and it's just... I think the perfect addition. Now we also decided to use tassels for the curtains. Now tassels aren't everybody's cup of tea. We absolutely love them because we like, we, we're not into very modern features as you can probably tell and think it looks absolutely wonderful with the curtains and the blinds so it's just overall it's a wonderful result. Now for the bedding. I must say I'm a huge fan of Rita Koenig. 
She's such a wonderful interior designer. I love her house, her farmhouse in Durham. I think I've watched the video 10, 15 times. And also there's a video where she's talking about making beds. And I've watched that many times as well and just took her tips to heart. And yeah, we got some new bed linen and this is from Cologne and Cotton and the quality is absolutely amazing. And as you can see, this is just, and this is just absolutely adorable. And these cushions are from Lewis and Wood. And yeah, this is linen and the quality is outstanding. The quilt is from a brand called Chinook. Not entirely sure about the correct pronunciation, but it's absolutely perfect for this iron bed. So this is a corner that's actually not finished because we're looking for a chest of drawers that's not too deep to go there because we simply need storage. And yeah, we will probably need to keep on looking for a while, but that's fine. But other than that, I absolutely adore the cushion and that's vintage Colfax and Fowler. And a great styling tip for shins cushions like this one is that you take a cushion pad that is about five centimeters taller than the actual cushion cover because it makes it look extra plump quite obsessed with this and one you know what this just looks like the icing on the cake if you ask me oh you're there i'm here yes finally <laughs> you got away and let me do all the talking i did the cooking and that no that's true while i was doing the talking you prepared dinner yeah and <laughs> that's good as well in german we we call that Arbeitsteilung. Yes. Well, we hope you like the video. Yeah, we, we hope you like the room. Yes. We love it. Yes. I just mentioned that we were not entirely finished, so we're looking for a chest of drawers. Yeah. And we just need to take our time to find the, the right thing. Yeah, but it's very close to what we want to be. We, yes. To be. Yes, absolutely. Well, stay tuned for more. I think there will be more. Yeah. More things, um, how would you... There's still plenty to do in the house. Yeah, exactly. Still yeah. a lot of jobs. Our dining room, for example. Yes. Which is a mess. It's, it's still a mess. And we have so many ideas. So little time. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. we will get there, I'm sure. So thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you again very soon. Yeah. So until next time. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>